Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner, right? And the headphones are in, so it can only mean one thing. It's time for another meme review. Uh, basically, it's where I give in to peer pressure from you guys and watch and react to all the filthy YTPs and memes that you guys have made of me. In a moment, I'm going to type my name into YouTube, Callum's Corner. I set the filters to videos only that have been uploaded in the last month, and I'll watch and react to them all. The ones that elicit the biggest reaction will make it into the video. Before I do that, I just wanted to mention I have finally set up my own Discord server. Now, I know people have run ones for me before and stuff, but this is the first one that I've actually set up myself and that I'm involved in. I'm on there every single day. I just wanted a place that's under my control where I can interact with you guys. We're going to use it later this week to do a Discord one question. So if you do want to get involved, uh, there's an invite in the description. All right, let's get stuck in. All right. Okay, I found something that I definitely want to watch that bears looking at. Right, one of the reasons that I make these videos, apart from you guys requesting them, is to keep my beady eye on these things, to set the record straight, because there's some outrageous allegations made in these videos. And this one looks just disgusting. I'm wearing an ISIS t-shirt in the thumbnail. ISIS? That's not a joke. That's not a meme. I don't support bloody ISIS. Um, yeah, we're going to watch it and check it out. Right? It's called... Callum's Corner attacks everything and everyone. Um, and it's by, it's by Tosspot. Um, I skipped it. Like, Tosspot, he was in my last meme review. And he's actually, um, he's been on a couple of my live streams. And he seemed like a normal, nice enough bloke on the live streams. Um, but I don't know what goes on. It happens to so many of you. It's like you open your editing software and your IQ drops 50 points. You become suddenly slightly spasmoidal. So I'm sorry, Tosspot, but we're going to look at this bloody ISIS, my ass. Right, come on, let's play it. Hey up and welcome, come, 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 I mean, I don't, don't read Arabic, but it probably you know, says that bloody, bloody, that, 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 the Akbar like thing, you know, blood, I don't, I, right, if anyone reads Arabic, tell me what that says. You pull out your phone and open the app, it's done. Just simple as, simple as, simple does. So, right, now the corporate obligations are out of the way, it is time for me to finger you. Um, of course it is. Again, I'm looking and I'm seeing the hearts on the background, I'll say this in all the videos now, but... Oh, actually, that to be fair to him, that's quite clever, the heart, the middle, the emblem mob instead of the actual heart, I'll give him that one. To me, they're big children. Oh, come on. In fact, you go up and notch in my estimation, and then you take yourself back down. The game is going to be about how children against multiple Chinese people. You know, Chinese people beating my sister. Anyway, we've done beating up Don Stockdale. We've done beating up James Marriott. We've done beating up Mimulus. I wouldn't be Mimulus or Bees. He's only an eight year old. We've done. We've done. Almost everything I can think of now, but you guys keep finding more stuff that you need me to help you with. So, boys. And that's it, apparently. Um, yeah, I mean, I did not like that. I did not like that. I, I, I mean, I don't enjoy the fact that everyone always makes me look like a nonce or racist. Like, but you've added, like, a triple threat to that one, a third of destruction. You've managed to make me sound like a terrorist a sympathizer as well. Uh, well done, Tosspot. You've done really well. You made me look like a nonce, a racist, and a terrorist sympathiser. I guess that's a hat trick for you. Great. Right, okay, let's watch the next one. About, and I'm not, and by the way, I'm just not a terrorist sympathiser. No sympathy for ISIS at all. Right, I found something that we're going to look at next. Um, now, first glance is it looks really innocuous. It's called Callum's Corner is Obsessed with BBC. And you're thinking, well, there's nothing wrong with the BBC, but there are certain connotations now that come with BBC. You know, since they covered up Jimmy Savile, there's a strong sense that a lot of them over there are nonces. So obviously, I don't want my name being thrown in with the BBC. So yeah, we're going to watch it. Um, it's been made by someone called The Best Human. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a uh, experience. Uh, this weekend is shaping up to Not be a K very exciting weekend. So I'm going to do a K-pop stream tonight. They are just oriental. And they saw this morning. I, I They're just oriental. I did not say that. Morning, kind of roll Bad roll music. Like nothing to do with them being oriental. BBC in your my whole of it is the I best way not, to start. It's not the BBC. Apparently it's now. Go to people's houses. Penis basically is talking about. BBC. 
PC. Oh, there it is, he went. Play Big back penis. Experience. Picked up my mobile to just That's ridiculous. First time staring I'm not getting no problem with anyone who has been a mate. I think not less of you. Personally, just not homosexual. I'm not homophobic either. But that actually is a little bit racist. Big back penis. That's a stereotype. You know, black people can have small penises. White people can have massive penises. It's just a stereotype. So, yeah, you make yourself out to be there. In a normal way, I've got a few things to take care of today. It's going to be a great weekend. No, but my gaps house now. I've just been absolutely humiliated. This bloke, simpering little man, comes out. There was loud, explicit sounds coming from. I twisted it to make it sound like I had some kind of homosexual experience. I'm going to smash his back doors in and make myself feel a bit better. There's a lot talking about fever here. Normal, given the day that I've had, I really do need to smash his back doors in tonight. Um, Big Nige is here as well, so it's going to kind of be a three-way. Um, but I'm going to come out on top. Of that. I'm literally at a loss to explain what has happened there. That's gone terribly. I was smashing that. I smashed Nigel's back doors in. Oh, it's awful. I hate that feeling of being smashed on top of, you know, being humiliated. The only good thing in my life right now is I've got a packet of family sized peanut MMs waiting for me when I get home. Um, fill the hole that should have been filled by a but it wasn't. Uh, okay, well, I mean, first of all, uh, you made it sound like I'm going to stick M&M's up my bum then, and no, I won't do that. I will eat M&M's and I will crush peanut M&M's. That are the only two things I will do with them. But obviously, they don't go on my bum, that's sick. Um, you made it sound like I'm gay. You made it sound like that. I was talking all the way through that was about something really heterosexual. Was it about playing football, FIFA, with my mates? And you've cut everything out to make it sound like I'm going to town on their bloody anuses. And it's sick, it's twisted. Uh, and also slightly racist, so well done, the best human. Uh, should change your name because you're definitely not the best human. Right, next up, I found something that we're going to look at very carefully. It's by someone called Funky Dinosaur. Now, if you watched my previous meme review, you know that Funky Dinosaur made quite an impression. Uh, and he produced a YTP that was almost on the condescender standards. I feel like I might have a new adversary on my hands here. Uh, so, yeah, we're definitely going to watch this. Uh, it's called, what is it called? Callum's Corner Fan Fiction. Um, I dread, I literally dread to think what he's done here. Oh, I hate that. Hey, up and welcome to Cain's Corner. Right, K, K, K. Right. Oh, Clue Cuts can't great. We're at five seconds in. You've already gone for the most racist group in the world. You're affiliated me with. Fuck you. Well, this is gay. But you've made it gay if it's gay. You've done that, not me. I've seen your most racist one TP where you say, and I suck off Philip Schofield. For toss pot. Suck the toss pot. Oh, that's, Luke that's the other guy. I'm you're in bloody cards. Of course you are. Of course you're in bloody cards. There's no that bloody problem. I'm the biggest in terms of penis stature. Someone I'm that I love. Average, you know, Today we are going to pay tribute to Funky Dinosaur. No, he we're not. Is one hell of a man. That's now, no. He's come back into my mind because I saw this clip of him. The gay pornography site. And earlier. <sighs> oh, this is absolutely magnificent. Who's that? Oh, is, is that you? Uh, is that you, Funky Dinosaur? Who is that? Oh, that's Eddie now. Why is there no sound? Why is everyone dancing? Is that you? Is that the Funky Dinosaur? Why is there no sound? Obviously, for mounting some kind of insurrection. Look at you. All of you hanging out together. What kind of group is that? Oh, you, the condescender tosspot. Christ almighty. It must be a very sweaty meeting place with an awful lot of extra fingers while you're just memeing around. Oh, I've made a meme. I've made a meme. Look at I mean. Look at I've made him gay. I've made him racist. I've made him do this. You filthy little children, all of you. Uh, actually, I'm going to have a cup of tea and a break for five minutes. So I'm getting a bit triggered now, but we will carry on. Okay, I've had a cup of tea and calmed myself down. I've kind of achieved a slightly more zen state. I've kind of reminded myself that they are meant as jokes. That I guess to some people, this is funny. I mean, it's not funny to me, but I guess I'm a lot older than you guys. So maybe I just don't understand it. But yeah, I'll be the same karma, right? We're going to watch. Um, we're going to... Just get in my ear. Get in my... Stupid thing. Uh, we're going to watch Callum's Corner has an encounter with his mum, um, which obviously worries me slightly as a title because it makes it sound incestuous. Um, it's by Sips, which actually is a legend on Twitter and in the streams, but yeah, it doesn't mean you won't be creating filth, so let's watch it. 
A-up and oh, wanky I'm introduction, sure, isn't it? New Year's and resolution number one. I'm gonna poo. I'm definitely gonna poo in this thing. I'm gonna poo on stream. I'm gonna poo on my cousin. I'm gonna poo on I'm top not, stop I'm saying I'm not poo. Honestly, I'm poo. not just exactly. wildly pooing willy-nilly everywhere. That I have just had to enjoy is the straw that broke the alpha male's penis just in this case, it's <laughs> <unfair. laughs> never got that. Honest to God, right? So, I run a bath. Oh my ass! Oh, run a bath on my anus. Today, today, I've been chilly as anything. Doesn't I've been out sense. in all day, so I thought, you know what? I'll reward myself with a lovely hot boom. <laughs> and side note, my lady got me this incredible paedophilic pigeon. So, it is, you know, like the perfect <sighs> opportunity to use it. Oh my ass! So, oh, for I've God's sake, you're obsessive. Paedophilic pigeon. Again, I've gone to take my clothes off in my bedroom, stick my robe on, and come. And my mum scooshy <sighs> scuttles straight into my bedroom. I'm banging my mum. She's having a bloody poo. Banging my mother. Oh, my ass. Honest to God. And again, of course. That. All over Christmas, all I've bloody heard from her is I can't move my bowels, or I can't move my bowels, I can't shift them, I can't shift them. She even went out and bought something called bloody punty fat cakes today. Some kind of disgusting little licorice that apparently makes you poo. Well, it bloody does make you poo because she's doing it. Well, she did it in my bloody arse. Now it's now oh, like good. she's pooed in my own arse. Not even up down the stairs like she's three bloody stone lighter. And I'm confronted, I'm smacked in the face with a wall. A Fog of this revolting smell. It's like a post apocalyptic nuclear waste ground in there. Oh my god, I go in there, I, it's like thick, you can almost chew in it. I have to flee out of there. Like, my ass looks amazing, incredible. It was even popping and stuff. But you can't smell it. What you can smell is the smell of my mum's bloody boo. Oh, oh. oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, yeah, I mean, well done. Well done, Six. I mean, you've got some credit in the bank, because, like, Tosspot and the other guy, I've seen you in the stream, so I know you're not a total twat, but please get out of my arse in the future, YTPs. I don't like it. It doesn't even make sense. Obviously, you can't poo in someone's arse. It's mental. Alright, um, let's find some more. Right, we found the next one we're going to watch. It's got a disgraceful title. It's from someone called Dear Brendy, and it's called Callum's Corner Wanks Over His Sister. I mean, it's just revolting in terms of the title. I mean, my sister Amy, she, yeah, she's a massive slob, but I'm actually probably one of the few blogs in the whole of the Bristol area who hasn't had some kind of spunky experience with her. So yeah, factually incorrect, and we're gonna watch it to check your filth out now. Hey up, and welcome to Callum's Corner. I am filled, filled to the brim oh, with a rage voice. I've been triggered the last couple of days. I haven't uploaded because I'm a pedo program. Everyone always has a go at me. Well, you just moan, Callum. You just rant all the time. Well, it's my bloody corner and I need a home. Oh, so well, my head needs to be more weird. My brilliant. sister. My sister. My sister. My sister. My sister. Oh, there we go. What the fuck is going on in my bloody brain? Amy, the bloody oh, slutty little old... spazzy is here. Sucky or something. Ill. She it's came disgusting. over the day before yesterday because she's got the babe. Brilliant. I bet she's probably has actually correct, but... She's come correct, over here but... to give it to me. Lovely. Right, she's here and staying, and now she's giving the babe to my mum. So, literally, upstairs to the bathroom and back, there's like a bloody motorway in there. I had to wait nearly an to go and do my business this morning, just sitting there and sweating, needing my poo. Sweating, needing my poo. Oh, unbelievable. It is like shit this in this house. And do you know who's cleaning the bloody streets? My ass. Every five minutes. Ass. Come, 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 it makes me sick. Oh, we need to speak to you about your car crash you had. Me, I've never had a car crash. Oh, can we speak to Mr. Adams? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to speak to you about your PP. Oh, they are arse oh, well gum, that bunch. I tell you, if you that is your job, you should be a shit. You are scummier than bitches of Eastwick. And then finally today, it has tipped me over the edge. All right. I finally, I think I've got to be peace and quiet to myself. I sit down with my arse. Bang, 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 bang. Arse. On door. Go and open it, and it is a bloody Tory. Canvasser. Oh, They're disgusting little semen into the atmosphere. Oh, swallow this down, drink this down, and be a Tory. No bloody way. Do I look like I'm an idiot? Do I look like I'm going to vote that way? I stop him and I explain why I'm not going to vote Tory, because basically I'm not a d d dickhead. And again, he starts going on about Brexit and how only Theresa May can be trusted. And he ends his little sales pitch with, you've got to remember, the last uh, bloody female Tory Prime Minister didn't do too badly. 
or you have it alive. Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, she was a twat. Margaret she was evil. Margaret Thatcher didn't do too badly. Oh, babes. Oh, the bloody PP. Oh, bloody poo. Didn't do too badly, poo. Margaret Thatcher. Jesus, she's like Hitler. She was Hitler. She was absolutely Hitler. Well, she was actually my voice when you changed it. We sound very squeaky. Hitler. No. Didn't enjoy that. What was your name again? Dear Brendy. I mean, it's disgusting. Get your head out of the gutter. Pee pee and bum bombs. How old are we? And can we please get everyone's mind off my arse? It's in every video. Your arse, your arse, your arse. I'm getting paranoid about it. I used to consider my bum one of my best features. I'd wear quite tight skinny jeans. But now I'm wearing looser fitting stuff because I'm worried that if I see someone who watches my corner out, they're going to photograph it or something. It's probably why I don't get laid anymore, why I'm struggling, because like, my best feature, I'm having to cover it up because of you guys. Idiots. Right, come on, let's move on. Let's find something else. Okay, next one. I found something. Callum's Corner eats penises for a day, which, if I mean, if the title, if that wasn't bad enough, you should see the thumbnail. I look like a retarded version of Will Ennies. Use some kind of filter to make my head into an actual square. My eyes all goggle-eyed, like nipples in a bad boo job or something. Uh, it's by someone called pot o pasta um, yeah, we're gonna watch it. There you go. And welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I've got a very special video for you. It's a challenge. I'm gonna spend the next 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 hours surviving on penises only. Oh, you can't uh, every single thing that I then will be penises. Every single thing that I drink will be penises. Literally nothing will pass these lips in the next 24 there hours. Isn't it's penis. not Go on, do it. Gay. Now, reasons for me doing this video are twofold. Reason number Let me one, guess, I love penises. I'm getting, I literally want to see penises. Uh, reason number two, 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 it's Eddie. I'm literally fed up of the You had to go even dirtier, didn't you? And bring my three year old into it. Eddie. Uh, 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 it's got to stop. It's a very real case of Eddie theft. Uh, so hopefully this video will highlight exactly what's going on. Right. Uh, 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 um, it's nine o'clock now, and I haven't had breakfast. Oh, Obviously, I'm hungry. Uh, Hold your fast uh, uh, now. Sorry, uh, was I boring you? Upon arrival at Marks and Spencer's, I quickly located the cafe due to a just a blog eating a sandwich. I got myself a cheese and ham toasty and a frothy coffee. Right, I'm back from my fapping off trip. It's and I'm just it showing up eating a sandwich. A weird weird about sex. I am laden with penises. Uh, 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 I am starting to get peckish for Eddie already. Oh, for God's sake. Um, now, for my lunch, I'm going to be partaking in a Willie Cheese. Spicy was the cheesy penis. Oh, with your dirty mind. Salad. You missed a uh, drink I mean, there. Basically, it's a salad with some great Willie oh, cheese on it. Because of the middle class. Class Will you with cheese on that? Uh, they've exaggerated. It's not like really lovely. Like it's his own unique. Thing. Don't mean that. Hey, 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 hey. Now, other pressing business before I have lunch. I have not taken care of my morning business yet. Fapping off. I'm going to be coddling my. Fapping off is not my morning God, business. Their anuses get treated better than my mouth, I think. Talking about a good honest life. Right. To go okay, poo. Okay, well, I'm going to go crack penises and, you know, break the seal, press it, use it. It could easily become a habit. Callum Touchbury. Brilliant. Callum Touchbury, that's original. Isn't it, Callum Touchbury? I mean, I don't, just in case anyone doesn't know that this is a joke, obviously I don't. Just. Juvenile. Oh, a little bit of me dancing at the end. The salad he ate contained the HIV. This is played at his funeral. It's brilliant. Oh no. Pray for Tic Tac Nods. Hashtag. Glad I watched that last bit. Who was that? Potter Pasta. I mean, well done. You've managed to get more penis into a YTP than anyone previously has. Um, a chock -a block with cock, basically. I guess that's some kind of achievement in this twisted world that you guys seem to live in. Um, obviously, that's all fake. I don't like penis. I don't touch kids. Um, and just leave Eddie out of it. I found the next one that I want to check out. Uh, the title is truly horrifying. Uh, it's called Callum's Corner's Nonce nursery rhymes uh, which is a particularly low point even for one of these meme reviews uh, it's by someone called dankest memes christ that's cretinous and it's got a really disturbing thumbnail uh, basically it's the night sky with a giant bright star in it in which my face has been superimposed uh, it looks my face looks all noncy and weird in there it's like it's like a reverse Teletubby situation, basically. Instead of a baby, it's me. Instead of the daytime and the sun, it's the night time. And there's a star, a sordid little star in the sky with me in it. Don't mind the look of it. Uh, we're going to play it. I mean, hopefully the fact that it's music will be soothing, because I'm getting quite triggered now. 
I'm not going to be able to maintain this kind of cool as a cucumber veneer much longer. We're going to watch one more video, I think, um, and then we'll call it a day for that. Okay, one last one, and we're going to go out with a bang, because I found another, another offering from the funky dinosaur. Funky dinosaur, stupid little name. The new condescending, more like it. Um, now, I kind of accept... When I'm filming these, uh, people are going to make me look a bit sick, a bit twisted, maybe even slightly racist and stuff. I try and take it as a joke. But this one with a title like this is difficult. All right? Callum's Corner has a bad weekend, but he's cheered up when he has Boom Boom with Eddie, my three-year-old nephew. I mean, that's just sick. Too far. And welcome to Callum's Cooking Channel. Welcome to Cooking. a vlog. Uh, this weekend is shaping up to be a weekend, so I was, um, I've hired a luxury 10 years old black sex one ah, in the central toss pot town for the whole of the weekend. I'm going over there tonight and I'm going to do a KKK hey, 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 stream tonight. Which a KKK hey, 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 stream. Tomorrow, my time to shine. Our luxury apartment, me out in the town, a few drinks. Hopefully, us rape can be procured. So, uh, it's been a bit of an irritating morning so far. So, so, so far, far, far. So, this morning, my basic nightmare. I know I'm going to But we were like a minute in, and you've got you've got bits of racism, you've got me hiring sex workers, you've got me. I just got me doing everything. It's like, I was like, I mean, it's like you're playing bingo. Spasmoiditis bingo. Yeah, chuck a bit of entree in there. Yeah, chuck a bit of bloody racism in there. Chuck a bit of this in there. Yeah, bingo. I made Callum look like a twat. Well done. Oh, vegan. Picked up my mobile to check Funky Dinosaurs channel, and I'm staring face to face with my basic nightmare. 300% battery. Don't Not even possible. My phone is playing out at the moment. Every night, I firmly insert the charger. Up my ass. Of course, it's up my ass. Hate, hate, hate it. Like eh? the whole of my day is then out of kilter, right? So I normally grab myself a cup of coffee, uh, take it into the bathroom, and you know, have, a bit, have a bit of a bowel movement, do my morning absolutions, and I watch it on corner, one TPs on my mobile No, phone. I bloody the don't. The way to start the day, right? My phone the worst way to ruin a week. Sitting there, I'm read the BBC gossip column first thing in the morning. Hey, it's for the football, it's to, not even the BBC's exclusive content. Like it's a link of all the rumours from the paper. Full length toss pot. The penis. Go too far now, the toilet, the bloody the bloody dinosaur. Water. Why? It's perverted. Why do you want to watch toss pot? Penis. I oh, really, and more and more people are doing this now. I'm no going to miss what you know, you have a way to look down on this. A toss pot. Penis. That's going to mess someone up, you know. I think possibly that could be, you know, um, responsible for the increase in like, bisexuality and stuff. It's a disturbing, disturbing craze going on. Don't have gay people. It's weird. Don't have bisexuality. Making me homophobic again. Yeah, that's not what it. I was saying. Weird. It's going to be a great weekend. And no one. This isn't the left of my lovely apartment. I'm going to make funky dinosaurs. South South. I've just been absolutely humiliated. Who the fuck experience, right? Got to the apartment, down to the little office desk a bit to pick up my keys, right? And the woman says, I'm sorry, you cancelled. What do you mean you cancelled? Cancelled my channel. Did you make another one? 
how this bloke made that. Super little man comes out. I'm gonna smash his back doors in. Hopefully, I'm gonna smash any back doors in and make myself feel a bit better. But I'm tappy. I am. How not long is this meme? Back doors in. Oh, 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 that's disgusting. That's, that's disgusting. I'm literally. At a loss to explain what has happened there. That's gone terribly. I was smashing that. I started like a house on fire. Right, I'm home and it's got worse. So worse. Would you bloody believe it, right? Get home. I right, put my penis. The door won't bloody work. My mum, we she cannot work it out. We've had new windows and doors, right? They're double glazed ones now. Right? She can't work out that she cannot leave the penis. On the inside of the door, what my penis will not work. So I have to bang, bang, bang on the front door. I'm making a cup of tea. My BDI spots this. She's eaten. Greedy, greedy. God, what she eaten? eaten? All of my breakaway. Yeah, I thought it was going to be my penis. Oh, I believe you, right? Her excuse is she thought I was gone for the bloody night, right? All of this, right? That's why she's with the key and That's why she's eaten, stolen from me because she thought I was gone for a couple of nights and she could replace her, right? And then she's trying to pacify me. She's trying to pacify me with a family pack of m and In what world is that an even transaction? That no, it's not. not equals it's not equals, equals people. Got a family pack of m and bitch. I was disappointed bitch. when I got a family pack of m and in my school pack lunch, right? It was a subpar chocolate. <coughs> oh, it's just... <laughs> Ah, oh, that would do. I don't want to watch it anymore. That was disgusting. Funky dinosaur. I mean, you had everything in there, didn't you? My mum, my nephew, incest, racism, just dirty bloody birdiness. I thought that the condescender was unparalleled for his filthy, twisted little mind, but you're fast approaching equals pickles over him. Um, and why, what is it with the toss pot? It worries me that little mean monkeys are organising, making friends and grouping together. I think everyone should be worried about that. Uh, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. I don't want to watch anymore. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike so I know I can finally stop making these. And yeah, thanks for watching.